All right, welcome back to the channel, and I'm your host, Coach Evan with the Tally Films. We're into the top three on this uh, beautiful Sunday, August the 1st. Hey, let's get started. All right, again, welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Evans, and uh, this is a recap of the top 10 most important uh, Baltimore Ravens for the 2021 upcoming season. And before we get into number three, let's do a quick recap of honorable mention through number four. The three honorable mentions are uh, Mark Andrews, J.K. Dobbins, and Gus Edwards. For obvious reasons, those guys will play a huge role in, in the season. Number 10, Jimmy Smith, mainly because of versatility. Number nine, Bateman, uh, as you saw yesterday, if he can do that versus Marlon consistently, what can he do versus the rest of the corners in the league? Um, Matter BK, his presence inside, on top of the fact this being his second year, his youth, um, obviously warranted to be on his list. Uh, number seven, Hunt. Marlon Humphrey, even though we just talked about Bateman beating him, the fact that Marlon can create a turnover on almost any play, and it don't have to be an interception. It can be the fruit punch. It can be a tackle for loss. It could be an interception. It could be a batted ball and let somebody else intercept it. Marlon's one of the better cornerbacks in the league. Um, I'd say top three or four. Um, number five, Marquise Brown. If he can expand his vertical game, that'll open up the rest of the offense for the team. Number five is Bowser. Uh, with the signing of Houston yesterday, Bowser's role maybe I don't want to say diminished, but it can be more versatile because he don't. He, to me, Bowser's the best guy on the team that can rush and cover. That's why he was on this list because he can rush and cover. And I still think Houston is mainly a rusher, so that don't change the fact why Bowser's number five on this list because he's the guy that can play on almost every down. And if he if he pops off, the defense gonna pop off. Uh, Pat Queen. For obvious reasons, he's the guy in the middle of the defense, probably one of the harder defenses to learn in the NFL. Had an up-and-down rookie campaign, but I enjoyed it. I felt like he had a good rookie campaign. I felt like he should have been in the running for rookie of the year, even though he had a, a, some brain farts, but that was with no training camp, um, no preseason. And it's playing middle linebacker is tough to do, especially in, in our system. It's tough to do. And that brings us to number three. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Number three on our list, Bradley Bozeman. For obvious reasons. I'm going to pop this picture up here to show you kind of why. All right. For that reason, Bradley Bozeman is number three on this list. Now, if you've been a Ravens fan for however long you've been a Ravens fan, you would know some of our demise in our losses. And we've only lost 10 games since Lamar's been the quarterback. Maybe 12, including playoffs. I don't know if in that 10 is playoff games too. But I think it is playoff games too. Bad snaps. Bad snaps have been a problem. Uh, the center being knocked back all, all, you know, on pass rush has been a problem. The center not getting down blocks has been a problem. So Bozeman has, has been our primary puller. Uh, especially when Yonder was there. We did a little, we kind of evened it out last year, but when Yonder was there, Bozeman was the primary puller at left guard. Uh, he did a great job of pulling and, and holding his own last year, especially when Stanley went down. He kind of stepped up as the leader of the O-line and, and handled his business. So now he's making a move back to the position he started at, center. I think he played center at Alabama. Um, from what I hear, he's only had one one snap, one bad snap in, in camp so far. And, um, it's just going to provide stability at a position that, because of how much we run the ball, we have to have. We have to have it. And stat-wise, it's not going to be a lot of stats you can get from it. The thing is, it's just the O-line do the dirty work. And if he can not be talked about, he's doing a great job. If we go weeks upon weeks without talking about Bradley Bozeman, that means he's doing his job. It means the snaps are there, the down blocks are there, getting to the second level is there. It's He's doing his job. The less you talk about O-line, that means the better they're doing. The better they're doing. Because you only really talk about O-line either when, you know, you get a huge rushing day or they're, you know, they're giving up sacks or we, you know, the offense is not really going good. The first person you look at is offensive line. So if he can anchor the middle, which, you know, I think he can, then you'll have, we don't know who's going to be a left guard yet. Right guard, Zeitler. Uh, right tackle, Villanueva. Left tackle, Stanley. If he can solidify 
the middle. He can help out whoever is the left guard because you're going to have an all pro at left tackle. You have a darn good center in Bozeman there. And then whoever wins that left guard spot, they can kind of help them out, mold them until they come along and get with the program. But whoever wins that job is going to probably be in maybe the top five, the top eight O-line in the league, I think. And the way we run the ball, it's crazy. I heard something about Villanueva, and this don't have to do with Bozeman, is that they came out of Army, a run-heavy offense. He loved it. Then he went to the Steelers, who were pass-heavy. So if we don't really know how much of a road grader Villanueva is because they pass so much in Pittsburgh. So we're about to see it and see what that massive frame can do, you know, in the run game. And we know he can pass pro because that's all they did in Pittsburgh. But again, number three is Bradley Bozeman. Um, top two coming up real soon. Um, I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. You've been through with the whole countdown for about a week. So we're going to finish this thing off today. Uh, if you have not, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button. Uh, comment. Share. Do your thing. I uh, appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon. Coach Evans out.